Aries, keep it there, please. What is going on, my dears? It is me, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, my dear, keeping it so sublime with you. Yes, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2020. Show me the money season for a reason, my dears. I hope that everyone has been good. I hope that everyone is in safekeeping and everyone is enjoying their time and feeling festive with family and feeling fellowship. All right. So thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares and subscribes. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page and has been donating and been sending love to the page through the Amazon wish list we have a bunch of new decks here um I believe one deck that you guys have seen already one is brand new it just came out we got the star sea oracle deck that we are going to be using today you guys might have seen me use the modern witch tarot we have the archetypes which is fairly new which we will be using today as well as the circle of life tarot deck so i want to give a big shout out to all of my babies that have been sending support through the cash app through the paypal everyone has been booking a personal or private reading because all of that love goes right back to this table so thank you so much for sending all of the love and support you guys so i'm kind of doing a little old school like how i used to do i have like a plethora of different decks here um I have about eight decks here. I'm not going to go into all of them. Uh, I will, I guess, if I feel like I need to go that deep. But I don't think we're going to do that. I'm just going to go to wherever spirit pulls from, tells me to pull from here. So um, we're just going to get into this reading. If anyone wants to book with me, only thing you need to do is click that About tab and send me a message on Instagram. The booking list, uh, price list and everything is on my About tab. If you have any questions, you can just send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and send me a message on Google Hangouts, which is an easy app for you to just download, okay? And we can do the video chat there for your reading. So let's say a quick prayer over this energy and we're going to see what type of love and light comes out on this table for Aries. All right, Father God, thank you so much for blessing us. Thank you so much for never stressing us, Father God. You have been pushing us light years ahead, Father God. I feel for this current stage of what's going on right now, I feel like Aries is definitely mentally prepared for this situation. They're feeling tough. They're feeling this level of resurgence in them. It's like, okay, you can never stop at Aries. If you're telling me I can't go out and make money this way, I'm going to make money that way. You know, so like there's always a way, you know, like you're never going to blow out Aries flame. Like they they always going to keep it blazing. You know, they set fires. You know what I'm saying? You call the fireman to come and cool the Aries down. They set fires. You know what I'm saying? You can't cool and Aries down. So I feel like Aries is being very inventive. They're finding new ways to establish new level of foundations for their family. You know, I don't feel like they're letting any of this stuff stress them or letting any of this stuff beat them and they're keeping their minds mentally strong because to protect the mind is to protect the mind, body, and soul. You know what I'm saying? As long as the mind stays strong, the whole rest of the body will always stay sturdy, will never get weak. Regardless of any sickness or anything, you'll always figure out a way to keep your yourself sanctified and just level so father god give us guidance for my aries you know we're gonna keep it right there where you need us to be father god please give us guidance for aries thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give us guidance for my aries for april 2020 show me the money season in jesus name amen all right i guess we just gonna go directly into the tarot for you let's see this is the tarot of life, I believe. With the circle of life tarot. Let's see what we got for Aries. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Bitch, she looks like she pregnant. Oh, she looks like she pregnant. Oh, my goodness. This is the Ace of Swords. But it's showing like expectancy like around November. Oh, who you got pregnant? Oh, Aries. Oh, Aries. I feel like there's some type of truth coming out about like a pregnancy. I have never seen the Ace of Swords have someone expecting 
So if you're not receiving some news or coming to the truth about someone that's expecting around late October, November. I want to say, yeah, yeah, like this is a Scorpio baby. This is like, this is a Scorpio Sagittarius baby. This is definitely a Scorpio Sagittarius baby. Oh, let's, let's go. The Nine of Cups. I don't feel like this is going to make you very happy. I don't feel like this is news that you really wanted to hear, but you know it to be the truth. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yes, honey. Oh, my God. This is a new beginning with this goddamn Ace of Wands. Oh, my God. You guys are mo You better late low. Um, somebody is expecting a baby. Someone is expecting a baby. And I don't feel like this is something. I feel like your eyes are almost going to run dry with this. It's like this can't be true. Like, oh my God. I don't know if you guys were expecting this. Oh, but oh, honey. What is this? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is something that happened like extremely fast. Like this could be someone that it was like a hit it or quit it or somebody that you really wasn't expecting to. I don't think you were expecting this. It's like they let me hit real fast or something. Like whoever this woman is, they were fast. They moved like a racehorse or some shit like that. It's like you were just throwing your shot at her or something like that. I don't think you was expecting this oh my gracious Aries who the hell Aries keep it there please Lord Jesus what is this this is the page of cups again the page of cups can represent pregnancy too and it's like I'm saying the past is rushing over. I feel like this is something that you feel like you're reliving or something like that. It's like this is like old news. Someone said this is old news to me. Like this is old ancient news or something. Like maybe you already knew that or something like that. Or someone's grandmother is going to be the bearer of this news. Someone's grand, somebody's mother, like the grandmother of the child, is going to be the bearer of this news. And it's like whoever it is, it's like they're coming with empty baskets. It's like, I don't want to say that, but I feel like the, the grandmother or whoever this is, they're saying this is a deceased relative. It's like, it's like you coming with empty baskets or something like that. The King of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. It's like the rep the like a rep. Mm, 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 mm. Aries, what the fuck you done got yourself into? What is this? And <laughs> you trying to keep the oh my gosh, you trying to keep this out? The emperor in the reverse. You don't want to take responsibility. You were trying to keep this shit out. Oh, oh, the moon, baby. This shit is hitting. Oh my god. Is this the fucking lovers in the reverse? No, God. Oh, my God. What is this? The tower in the reverse. They're trying to avoid this disaster. They want this person kept out. They don't want this intruding into their life like this. Like, what the fuck, Aries? The nine of pentacles. It's like they're focused on, on their money. They want to keep their money to their self a little bit. 
This is two of cups in the reverse. Like, ugh. Aries, what the brock? What the brock you don't got yourself into, baby? What the brock you don't got yourself into, baby? What you do? What did you do, boy? Somebody, somebody mother. It's like, ever somebody's mother or or some Passover relative or loved one is like sending you some type of information about like an expected pregnancy or something, but it's like you don't have nothing to give for some. It's like the basket is bare. Do you? It's like there's no fruits that are re really that can be carried over for some reason. It's like. I feel like this Aries or whoever this man is with this King of Cups, I feel like emotionally they know what they want and they are maturing in that fashion. But at the same time, I feel like there's still something that they need to work harder on learning or achieving. And this person might need some some spiritual help. You know, I, 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 and I feel like that's why, other than giving this information about this news, like, this elderly person isn't giving the Aries nothing else. Because it's like, I don't have nothing to bear. I don't have no fruits to bear with you because you're emotionally sound and secure about yourself. But at the same time, I don't feel like this is an appropriate fit. Like, this is an appropriate fit. Spiritually, this this ancestor, this elder or something. I don't know if their granddaughter or their daughter. They know that their daughter is 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 been sick or something. Like this girl has been pregnant and like she hasn't been trying to tell you or something. And like y'all already know that due to the situation, like someone already has another party in the situation. The other party could easily be the grandmother as well. It's like the grandmother could be in the middle of y'all's relationship or something. And it's like this person, I can say this person probably comes empty handed because they don't feel like that they want to take care of the grandma as well. Um, I just, I, I really, I just feel like it's a third party relationship. It's like there's a third element in, involved in the situation where clearly you see, like I said, that a grandmother is there, but the grandmother is being the, is the one that's being honest and telling this person about this pregnancy because I feel like the girl already knows not to tell whoever this dude is about this pregnancy because she already knows that it's going to make him unhappy. Like the beetle fly is gonna fly away, but like this this baby is already here. Like this baby is already far far too developed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this this baby's life is already developed and formed in a way where you can't turn back now. You like this girl is showing, and it's like you cannot terminate this pregnancy. And it just like all of this shit happened very fast with this Knight of Wands. This 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 happened very very fast, and it's definitely started a whole new dimension and a whole new meaning to this being a new relationship. Yeah, it's a new relationship. I feel like this the girl didn't want to tell you, and like either like one of your ancestors had to come and spiritually tell you or her mother had to come and tell you but she didn't really come with no whole bunch of emotions feeling sorry for y'all or nothing like that she's just coming to give y'all information because otherwise the girl wouldn't have told you you know what i'm saying and to like she's looking to you to be emotionally stable and to be smart because you know the dolphin is like a very very smart fish so it's like I need you to be emotionally smart and try your best to kind of fix this if you will you know what I'm saying like you need to try to do whatever you need to do to work on this and fix it because I feel like the baby is already here like the baby ain't here but it's grown it's grown enough where you can't get rid of it but still at the same time this man does it's like I don't want you guys in my life like that you know what i'm saying it's like i want y'all kept the fuck out like i don't feel like this man is going to be happy about this pregnancy at all you know what i'm saying like this person feels like this is some type of 
negative force trying to attach their self to me the emperor in the reverse i don't want to take any responsibility like the baby is not mine don't be knocking at my door like satan i rebuke you like like this is literally like they feel like you are literally trying to destroy them and you are fucking lying you know like you're hiding something like you know or this is something that they don't want to take any responsibility for and wherever it is that they're living, wherever they at, they want that secret kept out of this house. You understand? They don't want no responsibility of it. That baby is not coming into the house where I have to maintain and be responsible for that. They don't even look like they're really responsible. Wherever the fuck they're responsible for their being the emperor at, I don't feel like they're doing a very good job there. Because clearly, look at you over here fucking pregnant and they don't want to take responsibility responsibility for you and they're trying to keep you a fucking secret you understand and you see how this lady you see how she has the world in her hand this this thing that she's this this information that is being kept out of this house um because the aries is most definitely not taking responsibility for, from, for something and holding back a lot of information um about a lover about a lover that they're trying to hide. This is a, a, a love secret that they're trying to hide because they're trying to avoid some type of disaster that is going to cause financial complications for them in the future. They're trying to hold on to their money. They don't want to. They don't want to to give up a penny. And it's like if I can avoid you, I will because at the end of the day, you're, we're, we weren't soulmates. Like this was something that I feel like with this two of cups in the, in the reverse, like there's no love here. And I feel like that's why the elderly person is coming with an empty basket because it's like, I don't know. To, I don't know what she expected to. What is this? The messenger. This is again, like I said, there's going to be a messenger. This you information that you don't want to receive from a foe. Again, you look at this person now like as if they're your enemy or some shit. Widower. Is this someone that you already kind of put a depth to? Like you already. It's like I already got rid of you. I already said I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Now you're trying to come to me talking about you pregnant and shit. Like, oh, no, bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, this could be someone that you used to work with, too. Um, it could definitely be someone that you fucking with, that you used to work with. And somehow got some type of relationship with their brother, you know. Or it's hard working shit out with this person because their mother is always in the middle of some shit. But yeah, you done got her pregnant again. What is this? This hope is in the reverse. It's like a loss of hope. Oh. Melancholy. I feel like this information has like gift. It's like I'm gonna have to constantly be giving all my money away. I'm gonna have to yeah over some frivolous shit. It's like I'm gonna have to constantly be rewarding and gifting someone my money and money that I don't have or money that I don't want to spend because I was out there acting frivolously. You know what I'm saying? I was out there frivolously. I don't feel this person is very melancholy. They're not excited about this shit. I really do feel like they hope for the best. But at the same time, look at this person in this whole car. It's like they want to hang their head out the window like a sad puppy or something. Like It's like, oh, woe is me type of shit. It's like the merchant. I don't know if this person doesn't have uh financial stability or something like that. But it's like this merchant being in the reverse here. I feel like... This was something where uh, I don't feel like they were willing to buy into. Do you understand? Like, they really don't. They really didn't want to invest in the merchandise like that. You know what I'm saying? This was something they were just being frivolous or whatever. Like, I don't even really feel like they spent any money to get it or something. It's like, 
that or like I said this person has lack of employment yeah this was just a friend like this is someone that you just consider a friend this was someone like I said you didn't even really have to take them out and purchase them anything to have sex with them or anything like that like this was just a friend and all of this stuff give me guidance and love please for this Aries Oh, someone's looking at a reflection. It says emotions are a natural part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. <sighs> Message. I really do feel like whatever this is here, even if you do consider this person as a foe now and y'all have had a dead -end relationship y'all but you still was fucking her so you 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 can't look emotions are a natural part of life but they can also do, uh distort your perception and cloud your vision it the, you know that this child is yours you already know so you have to take responsibility for what you created you can't just try to push this person out the window and act like they don't fucking exist you know what i'm saying and even though you're trying to cast them away like they're the devil there's a they're a demon and they're an enemy to you because you feel like they're coming after your finances and you don't want to let secrets into your real house to where you live with god knows who the fuck you live with clearly you're trying to keep a secret out of the house for a reason you might live with someone else Oh my goodness. Give me guidance for this Aries. When his emotions are natural. What is this? The crossroads. It's time for you to make decisions. You're at a crossroads right now. You need to figure out if you're going north, south, east, or west. And you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision now because it doesn't matter what you decide. Listen, the child is grown. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to um sing. They they're trying to sing some uh, um song in my head. It it sun and sun, but the seed is grown. I can't make it on my own. You see, the summer came around and the flower bloomed. He became the sun, I became the moon. Precious gifts that we both received. Boy, could this be make believe? What you gonna do when they come for you? Working honest, but it pays the bills. Like I'm trying to tell you, whatever he's selling, working honest. What you gonna do when it come for you? Mm. You gave me the life that I came to live. Do I really want my baby? Brother, tell me what to do. Look, I know you got to get your hustle on. So I pray. Hmm. I understand the game sometimes. But I love him strong. Mm. Hey, bruh. Woo. God, I can't stand life without you. Now me and baby got this situation. See, brother's got this complex occupation. And it ain't that he don't. This somebody that you knew for a long time since school. The locket. So this is like you really need to figure out like where your heart truly lies. Like who are you really trying to offer your love to? Like who makes your heart feel its ex existence? You know what I'm saying? Who makes you your heart beat? Where does your heart really want to go? Who do you want to express this love to? Who do you want to offer your heart to? You know what I'm saying? Who do you want to express this offer to? So the locket means love romance a platonic lover family emotions tenderness cherishing joy excitement happiness bliss contentment generosity enduring infection 
experiment experiencing romance and intimacy you have to make a decision of where your heart truly lies do you understand what i'm saying and then my favorite saying saying friend, friend family or foe treat a hoe like a hoe so i feel like that's why this aries is saying the widower like this person is crying over a dead situation or something um Friend, family, and foe treat a hoe like a hoe. I feel like that's why the Aries is treating them. Listen, this fish, this fish, you know, that represents in old school, you know, they say you dream about fish. That means new babies and stuff like that. But in the Norman, fish represents like your wealth, your prosperity, um, you know, um, luck around business and, you know, Let me see. Let me see. I just know it has to do with money. The fish represents money, finances, wealth, increase, indulges, desires, wishes, luxury, excess, commerce, trade, exchange, entrepreneurship, independence, elusive, water. I told you it means it means money. <laughs> it means money. The owls. Communication, gossip, you know what I'm saying? It's like you feel like people are watching your money. Um, people are watching your finances and your success like go up a little bit. And it's like I don't I don't want to feel like I got people watching my money as I'm as I'm growing and things like that. The whip. It's it's like you feel like it's almost punishment like you're suffering you know um like you're going through some type of hardship and 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 you know what i'm saying like you're it's like you're being trapped you're being confined you're being abused you know what i'm saying in some type of way because these people are watching your finances and they're watching the ups and the downs and of your money and your success and things like that. And it's like they're going to make sure that they get every little piece out of it. It's like you're going to be punished financially um, by people watching you and that can be institutions watching you and things like that. So it's like, you know, you're at a crossroads right now because you expressed your love in a way that you felt like put a financial constraints on you where you're going to have people watching your money and you're going to be punished financially forever because of the way you might have given yourself and your heart frivolously. And um, you just feel a little bit out of balance about this. You know what I'm saying? So let's just give one more clarification for this area. Because this is like, woo! Give me guidance for this Aries. Thank you so much. The Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a lesson that is just extremely hard for you to learn. Like this is something that you should have already. Like you're repeating the lesson. And it's like you need to re-educate yourself so you can stop making the same mistakes because it's like you're very slow to learn for whatever reason. And it's like you're not really gaining and accomplishing any success because at the end of the day, only thing that you can really offer is your emotions. You don't have anything of any solid advances to propel you forward because for some reason it's like you're not willing to study you're not willing to learn you're not willing to offer yourself in a way that's going to propel you forward in growth it's like someone that continues to just keep making the same mistakes because they don't want to get up and do something different or don't want to educate themselves on how to live a different way do you understand what i'm saying and the only thing that they can do is offer their heart and that's it that's that's it the five of wands and you see these people got the little uh corona face mask on like they're sick it's like you keep putting yourself you keep moving towards and offering your cup to a chaotic environment do you understand to people that only thing they want to do is 
fuss fight and create drama and gossip and arguments and confusion and shit like that and it's like that's what you offer your cup to and you're not trying to learn how to grow and move in the opposite direction towards something that really has a certain sense of value you know the ace of cups like you need to learn how to love in a more positive way and i think it's like truly by loving yourself Truly loving yourself and giving. Listen, and the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. It's like you. It's something about you just being willing to offer love, but not. It's like you're you're willing to to communicate and offer emotions, but not action. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can emotionally uh uh, uh spill over. Everything how I feel on the table, but I'm not going to do shit about it. That's why that emperor in the reverse is there. It's like someone that is not willing to educate themselves, that's not willing to put the time, that's not willing to put the action forward to be successful. Only thing they want to do is offer their love and their emotions to a whole bunch of confusion you know what is this the justice in the reverse and like whatever whoever this is this aries that has this baby and all of this stuff like that you're going to meet you decide the justice that you deserve to get it's because the, this is what you're offering yourself to you're offering yourself to confusion the only thing you're offering is emotion. You're just throwing more emotion onto the fire. You're not offering logic. You're not offering like a certain level of action that's going to make anything better. Or you're not even thinking of a better plan that's going to work. You know what I'm saying? So everything can fit in. Everything can be balanced. Only thing you want to offer is just uh, emotion. I'm just how I'm feeling. I just don't know. It's just like all of this emotional downpour. And it's like emotions don't pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? What is that? You've been put in a box now. Uh, the and a lot. I don't know words. I just hit the lick with the box. Had to get the stick with the box. Listen, listen, you 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 caught up in the box now. You've been boxed in. You've been boxed in. What is this saying? Althea. I forgot what the Althea means. And then you got the underworld. So it's like you you don't. It's like you've been boxed in so that you can see the truth of your own destruction. It's like for some reason you decide instead to offer yourself towards really encouraging yourself and trying to do something better. At least trying to plan something do better. Trying to like offer some type of action or something like that. You just want to walk towards chaos, offer your, your cup to chaos and then... Once all the chaos happened, you don't want to take any responsibility and you want to keep everything a secret and you just want to try to keep it. You, you know, you you cause more friction and ruckus trying to keep the, the, the secret out. <laughs> it's just it's chaotic. It's cha It's really chaotic, bro. It's chaotic. Let me real quick see what the Althea mean, because I think that Althea means truth. Again, I already knew that shit. It's like you've been boxed in into this underworld so that you can see the truth about what it is that you're really doing and what you're offering to situations. There is, listen, there's only the darkness and there's only the light. There's only the truth. You understand? There's no in between. There's no in between. There's only the truth. And that's why you've been boxed in so that you can see the arena that you continue to play in. Educate yourself and want better. You're just going to continue to breed more of this drama for yourself. The emperor that ain't an emperor at all. They don't want to take no responsibilities for none of their fucking actions. And ain't doing any actions to make anything better. Or trying to educate themselves. They're just creating all this drama and just trying to hide and keep the devil out. When you realize that you operating with the devil itself. Okay? You creating this. Ain't nobody tell you to go do this shit. You did it. So don't go and do this shit and then be like, oh, woe is me and did this what this see Aries do this bullshit all the time. That's why I'm not talking to my friend right now. I don't have time for it. And child, like, ooh, boy, ooh, this gonna make me wanna call my Aries friend, even though I'm not dealing with this motherfucker because too much drama. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you have to be a high vibrating 
Aries, when you are high vibing Aries, all the blessings and good come to y'all because you can tell when it's a high vibing Aries because they don't really operate with a whole bunch of drama in their life like they live very very well they're very very successful and most thing that you got to deal with from a uh, high vibe of Aries is people hating on them because they're not who they used to be anymore do you understand what I'm saying low vibe of Aries do exactly what you see right here people just instead of making things better for themselves they just create more conflict and drama and confusion and stuff and they want to blame everybody else for why their life is the way it is let's vibrate higher okay i love you guys this has been y'all reading peace